Welcome to this week's webcast for Unmanned Tactical Group and Pilot Institute's Public Safety News Update. For this webcast, we're going to be talking about Kent Fire was able to find a missing female that had been missing for eight hours with a broken leg. We're going to dive a little bit into how that, op that operation took place. We're going to go into the M350 release from DJI and what that looks like for public safety. And then we're going to give a big shout out and congratulations to drone responders for winning first place for AUVSI's Excellence Public Safety Award. Let's get to it. First up, we're gonna talk about a huge win from some of our first responders on the other side of the pond. Kent Fire and Rescue Services were requested by Kent Police Department to come and assist them with the search shortly after Sunday, May 14th at midnight. Uh, Kent Fire and Rescue Services sent a technical rescue unit and two drone pilots out to assist with this search. And after two hours of searching for this female, they were able to locate her. That female had been missing for eight hours and had, had a broken leg as well. Ali Gilfilman, who was the, uh, the pilot who located that female, was able to communicate with the ground crew and coordinate where that female was located. Once they were got on scene, they were able to make a makeshift splint and then lift her up and, and cart her out to a roadway that was almost a thousand feet away. Uh, outstanding work there, uh, Kent Fire and Rescue Services, real proud of y'all. Uh, that's some outstanding drone work and outstanding efforts to make sure that all of your citizens are uh, safe, especially when they're out there hiking on all by themselves. Uh, the Technical Rescue Supervisor, Jim Chaston, uh, stated about the event that the drones are a fantastic piece of kit that we use quite often these days. It's awesome to hear that they're using them a lot. Whether that's helping to locate missing people or flying over fires to get a better view and understanding of the fire spread and search for hotspots or assess damage, structural stability, and provide evidence for fire investigation. Sounds like they're utilizing those for all types of different kinds of uh, fire and rescue um, incidents. So outstanding work. Keep it up, guys. Drone responders won first place in this year's AUVSI Excellence Public Safety Award. They were awarded this this year at AUVSI Exponential in Denver, Colorado. They were selected as the winner of this year's award out of many different applicants due to their tireless efforts to develop strategic partnerships such as NASA, MITRE, NIST, and many others to create free and easily accessible resources for public safety. They also work very, very hard with the FAA to advance information and regulatory changes to enhance public safety UAS operations. Outstanding work, drone responders, and a special congratulations to Chief Warner. Good job, guys. Next up, we have DJI's big release on the M350. This is going to be the next version of the M300 series. Uh, this system is a little bit beefier than the M300 series. What's great about it is it, it, is it comes with the RC Pro. Uh, it also has a couple of new features built into it as well. We're going to talk a little bit about those. First up, first and foremost, 55 minutes of flight time. Uh, that's huge. The battery systems that they're running, the TB65s, are a little bit bigger. What's great about those is they charge real nicely in the battery case, and that battery case supports the old TB60s. Uh, so that's an outstanding upgrade there for a little bit extra flight time. Uh, it also is IP55 rated this time instead of the IP43 rating that the N300 had prior to. This gets you a little bit better uh, all weather resistance. So in the event that you're flying in inclement weather, this system can handle it a lot better. It has a six pound payload capacity, so a little bit uh, better job at lifting certain equipment. So if you're looking to carry PFDs, maybe an IFAC, uh, some type of first aid kit. Uh, this system can handle it a little bit better than the M300 can. It also has a 23,000 max altitude flight range. Uh, it also can handle up to 23 knots for wind speed. So it, it is a little bit better, a uh, little bit beefier platform. Uh, the, with the temperature range is also a huge one for me. Um, it shows that the system can handle weather from negative 4 degrees all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, with me being in the Houston region, the temp hot temperature range was always an issue for us. Uh, we, we ran through the gauntlet with Mavics. Uh, we've also had some issues with the uh, the Matrice running in the very hot summers that we have. So seeing that it can get up to 122 degrees is, is a really welcome sign here. 
But one of the biggest things I love about this came with the RC Plus compatibility with the N300 series. Uh, no longer are we required to stick with the uh, the Smart Controller Enterprise with a really small screen. Now we have that really nice big monitor with the N30 series uh, with the RC Plus. So that's a, that's a huge benefit there. And I'm excited to see uh, what that's going to look like and start utilizing that RC Pro with our N300 series that we currently have. Nice work, DJI. I look forward to trying it out. Thanks for attending this week's webcast. Don't forget to head over to Unmanned Tactical Group's webpage and check out the upcoming courses we have. We have courses literally all over the United States coming up throughout the rest of the year for operations such as 107, first responder operations, tactical operations, aerial crash, crime scene reconstruction, and many more. We also are diligently working towards getting some online courses for you direct through Pilot Institute. So in the meantime, head over to Pilot Institute's page and keep utilizing their online resources that they have as well. Look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Mm -hmm.